So this is here, make your choice. <laughs> Head cut off down here. In stars, Alan Ladd and Veronica Lake. Now, this is 1942, so there's very few of you here, although I know there are some who remember who Alan Ladd and Veronica Lake were. But he had a, a, a great speaking voice, very low and hypnotic, and for a kid like me, he just blew me away. And, and, and uh, He was wearing a, a trench coat, and he, he was carrying a 45. He was a gun for hire, I, I realized later. And he had Veronica Lake on his arm. Now, Veronica Lake was diminutive. She was about five feet. And she had long blonde hair, very pale, and it covered her right eye. I guess it's that eye. Really hot from an eight-year-old perspective. Anyway, at that time, at eight years old, I understood that that was a job that Alan Ladd had, and that he went in every day, just like my father went in every day to New York for his job. And I thought to myself, and I knew it was only a dream, I wanted a job just like Alan Ladd. I didn't tell anybody about that. Who would? But many years later, in The Blackbird, I got to wear a trench coat, and in the the, the, the Duchess and the Dirtwater Fox, I had a pistol. And that, that movie was greenlighted by Alan Ladd's son, Alan Ladd Jr., who looked just like Alan Ladd, only the brunette version. And he was responsible for that, for that uh, movie. And in another serendipity, 